Let me share with you one of the best ways to save gas fees when entering and exiting out of liquidity pools. Now, you might already be aware of how liquidity works, but as a small recap, when you enter into a liquidity pool, you always have to provide two of the same assets. So for example, ETH wrapped BTC, you will have to provide an equal USD valuations. Now that means that you have to have ETH in your wallet and also wrapped BTC. So to get the wrapped BTC, you have to buy some wrapped BTC and that incurs gas fees. And what if I told you you can do all of that just starting out with ETH and saving a lot of gas along the way. And you can do that with Zappify. Zappify not only manages your DeFi assets and liabilities in one simple interface, it allows you to zap into liquidity pools and thus earn interest in a super easy way and save gas as well. So the way that you can access Zappify, you go to zapper.fi, you can click on connect wallet. You've got many different wallets that you can use. I'm of course using the trust wallet. I'll open it up on my mobile phone and I can just get the QR code, click on wallet connect and then click on the QR code. And I can scan it and I'm already logged in as easy as that. So under the dashboard, you can see the total assets I've got on this wallet. I can go down and look at different assets I have. I've got wrap BTC, I've got some ETH and I've got a few other tokens. You can also switch view to view the total valuation of your wallet or the detailed view. Now, here's a quick example and a visualization to help you understand why you can save gas fees with Zappify. Like, as I mentioned before, you have to have a lot of transactions when you want to add liquidity into a liquidity pool. You have to approve the tokens. If you've got an ESC20 token, you have to approve it first. That can be used in a smart contract. That costs maybe $5. Then afterwards, you have to maybe buy another token. That also costs a few dollars. You have to add both of the tokens into the liquidity pool. That also costs a few dollars. So here, Noda explains it pretty well. So on the left-hand side, this is how you would actually um, interact with a liquidity pool if you do it yourself. And on the right hand side is if you zap into a liquidity pool using the uh, urine uh, Wi-Fi liquidity pool as an example. So at the beginning you've got ETH, then you would have to approve, deposit, and then it's into, into the liquidity pool. And for each step you'll be paying gas fees. So first of all, you have to also buy some um, Wi-Fi tokens. That would cost you maybe a few dollars, six dollars. It depends on how high the gas fees are at the moment. Then you have to deposit them. That will also cost you a few dollars. And then um, it's inside. And the same thing is when you're exiting out of your position, exiting out of the liquidity pool, you will have to withdraw the tokens and that will also cost you quite a few dollars. So now we're, when using Zap, you can just use ETH and it doesn't really matter if you have the other token in your wallet, the Zap will split the amount you're putting into, into both tokens so that you can put it into a liquidity pool. I'll highlight it afterwards. Uh, with a few liquidity pools as an example of what I mean. So when you're on the Zapper dashboard, you can click on invest. And then here you get an overview of all the available liquidity pools. Now, unfortunately, here you don't see the average return on investment per month or per year. For that, I recommend that you go on to pools.fyi. And here you can see uh, the pool return on investment in the last 30 days. I recommend using pools.fyi, you can look at the return on investment for different pools and the amount of fees that are paid out. But that's not the topic of this video. This video is mostly about getting into pools and out of pools with the least fees as possible. So here you can explore the opportunities. You've got the available pools, the liquidity, the volume and the fees, the higher the fees. These are the fees that are paid out to the liquidity providers, split up and distributed depending on what percentage of liquidity you're providing. Now let's take an example here of a liquidity pool where you had to, you have to provide two different types of tokens and you might only have ETH in your wallet. So let's take the wrapped BTC ETH pool on Uniswap. It's got a little farming icon. That means that this liquidity pool is also generating another token. And in this case, it would be the Uni token. So let's click on this one. And here we can add liquidity now. If you're already familiar with other liquidity pools, you would have to provide same evaluation amounts in wrapped BTC and wrapped ETH. Now, since I only have ETH in my wallet, in the standard way that you do it, I would have to first exchange this ETH to wrapped ETH, buy some wrapped BTC, and then provide both into the liquidity pool. And then you get the liquidity pool token and you'd have to provide that liquidity pool token um, again. And that will probably cost you a few 
dollars, probably around thirty forty dollars, depending on the uh, how clogged the Ethereum network is. I can just type in the amount of ETH that I want to add to the liquidity pool. I only have to have ETH. I don't have to have any of the other tokens. And as you can see, when I'm providing two ETH, it will be divided among both of these tokens in equal proportions in terms of USD valuation. So here I get 0.0329 wrapped BTC and 1.0079 wrapped ETH. And I can also see the price impact, which is very low. Now I can change the transaction settings. Um, the, the faster it is, the more it will cost me in gas fees. So I can also change the slippage tolerance. If I put it too low, it's possible that my transaction doesn't go through. And if it doesn't go through, you might, might have to put a higher slippage tolerance when also when there's low liquidity. Now I also can select the gas settings, can select standard 89 gray, fast 104 gray and instant 115 gray. The higher the gray amount, the more you'll be paying in fees. So when I'm happy about that, I can click on confirm and that will send my two ETH into this liquidity pool in one single transaction and thus save a lot of gas fees. And I think this is fantastic. It's a fantastic way to enter and also exit out of pools um, without having to do all of the uh, steps in between that you would normally have to do in, if you'd just be doing it without Zapify. Now, Zapify has a lot of other great benefits. You can also exchange tokens between each other. You can explore um, Maker and DYDX vaults. That's when you um, put up um, cryptocurrencies for collateral and then you um, take out debt. For whatever reason you might want to pay some bills and then here you can also see all the transactions that you've done on your account and you can download the csv which is fantastic for um for tax purposes now what they also have is if you go on to let's go into the invest dashboard you can click here and see how it works and they have got a lot of fantastic documentation on many different um, aspects of um, zapify if you want to learn more about the different liquidity pools I recommend that you go under the pooling tab and you can click on, for example, Uniswap. And here you can learn about what Uniswap is, different terminology around Uniswap. So for example, what a pool is, liquidity providers, Uni version one, traders, arbitrageurs, exchange fee, um, who it's for, then information about it. What's also great is they also have a tab about calculating return on investment, which is a bit more complicated, but they've got very good explanations on impermanent loss and um, how to add liquidity as well as how to remove liquidity. They've got the same tutorials for Balancer, for Curve, for Yearn Vaults, and for um, Future Swap. They've got a lot of great documentation I recommend going through before you provide liquidity for any of those. If you go under the Farming tab, you will find all of the available opportunities in a nice table that you can download as a CSV. So here you've got the protocols, for example, Sushi Swap, you've got Euron, you've got YF Value. These are all the, the pools where, that you can provide liquidity to. You, the issuer, the platform where this liquidity pool is located, what kind of assets you have to provide and um, what kind of rewards you get by providing the single assets. And these assets you will then zap. So for example, in the USDT ETH, SLP pool, you would be zapping ETH, USDT and DAI in one single transaction. And at the end, you've got the, the website. So this information you can download as a CSV. And I think it's very useful, um, especially for people providing large amounts of liquidity. It's, it's important to, to stay informed. So yeah, that was it for this video. Um, if you found it interesting, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button and also make sure to check out the Patreon page where you get a lot of fantastic updates and additional information and at the same time supporting the channel. So I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.